Hello again, everybody. This is loading. And we're going to take another look at farm together. Um, so I've done a lot of work on the farm, my farm, since the first video. Um, I haven't really had a chance to do any recordings, but uh, so what I want to try and start doing is focusing on certain aspects of the game. Um, so, I mean, as you can see, since the last time... We've made a, a lot of improvements and a lot of expansions and things like that. Uh, today what I want to talk about is keeping up your ribbons. So if you look at the top right, you have your money, your diamonds, your ribbons, and your tickets, which all serve different purposes. Um, anything that's going to be, you know, anything that you buy for, to, for your... Um, Quests for your quest log, um, any flowers that you buy, planting, harvesting, all that kind of stuff is going to cost coins. Um, when you go into your menu here, or your shop, go over to the house, most of the stuff that you're going to be purchasing is going to be diamonds. Um, so like your mushroom market, which holds more mushrooms than the mushroom stand down here. Um, you know, it's, you, mushroom stand is 25 diamonds, and it gives you 50 storage, and you sell your, um, you know, 25 mushrooms for eight diamonds. You come up here, you sell 80, you sell, you know, 275 diamonds for 80 um, diamonds. They keep wanting to say dollars. So, anyways, one thing that's really hard to to keep up with in the game is right up here the uh, the ribbons so that's mainly what I want to talk about today is keeping your ribbons high while also making some money at the same time so taking a look at things here I'm going to go over a few things with you that are definitely going to be beneficial for you to explain to you how important those ribbons are. Farm hands, for example. Farm hands, you pay them two tickets. Like it says down here, you pay them two tickets and 50 XP. And they'll work for you for one hour. And they'll go and they'll collect things. And, and the farm hand has a lot to do today with what we're going to talk about making more ribbons. We're going to be spending ribbons to make ribbons. But your ribbons that you'll make will be more, obviously, than the ribbons that you're going to spend. Um, a lot of other things require ribbons, too, that are really helpful. Points of interest. So points of interest, when you go into the map, I've got a point of interest here and a point of interest here. Your bus stop is always going to be a point of interest. So I can click my map. And, you know, fast travel to point of interest 2, which happens to be my house. Or I can go to the map and travel to point of interest 1, which right now, I mean, this is one of the point of interest that I made to test it out at the beginning of the game, of me playing it to see how it was going to work. This is going to be moved eventually. So, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my bus stop for right now. I'm going to go back into the shop and just show you a couple of things. The gas station, 25 ribbons. Um, jam saw, which is another huge thing that we're going to be talking about today in order to make the ribbons. Um, you know, your cheese stands. So, you know, it's... Usually when you turn something into something else, you're going to get diamonds from it. For example, my milk. Um, let me show you the dairy. So when I go collect from my cows, everything goes into the dairy. I sell from the dairy, and I sell for five diamonds. I keep wanting to point at the screen. Here. Oops. So these I sell for. I, when I sell the cheese, the milk, I sell for five diamonds. It takes away 25 resources, but I also get one cheese. Okay? So in order to sell that cheese, we're going to go here. 
and sell goods. Let me try and split this over here. I'm going to sell it for one ribbon. So I ha may have a hundred cows. All those cows are going to give me milk. I'm going to do the milk with this right here and the dairy, collect it there. And then I go over to here and sell the milk. Uh, I'm sorry, sell the cheese and I get one ribbon. So I'm spending 10 ribbons and 100 XP to get the stand. And then every time I use it, I'm earning one ribbon and 40 XP. Okay, so let's go with the initial thought of today. And we're going to go ahead and talk about how to make money with an apple farm. Not that your whole farm is going to be apples, but just a way to expand it out. I'm going to go ahead and fast travel to my house since it's right behind there. Okay, so this is my apple farm. This entire area back there, just to the left of that house, all the way over to here because my property ends at this wall that goes all the way down that way. This is my apple farm. So, I haven't counted how many trees are here, but there's a lot. So, when you do this apple farm, what I did was I, tree, I, and I put apples everywhere I could, except for this area right here, which happens to be pomegranates I needed for a quest. And so I hadn't filled this area yet, so I just put them here. Um, they may move, they may stay. I think it kind of looks cool with the blue around in the middle of all the green. But anyways, let's get back on track. So this right here is the apple farm. Now set up in the apple farm, I have my farm hands. Now if you look here, when you stand on the farm hand stand, it shows you a yellow dashed line. That yellow dashed line is the area that the farm hand will work. Now, what's good about apples is when you go search for the apple tree, oh, that's a nectarine tree. That's a pomegranate tree. Here we go, apple tree. When you look for the apple, when you look for the apple tree, one good thing about it harvests every season. There's four seasons in the game it harvests every season. So every time a new season starts, these apples are going to go ahead and pop up as harvestable. Now you're going to buy the trees for 100 coins each and 1 XP. You're going to harvest for 22 coins and 1 XP. Okay, and the resource you're going to get is one apple from each tree. So, you know, after you harvest it five times, you've already made your money back. You can harvest five times, you know, in a two-hour period. So I'm going to go ahead and pay my farmhands. We're going to follow him around for a second, just so you can see. He'll go around, and he'll harvest from all these trees. So uh, let me make sure i got a couple other farmhands. I think I've got five here now. So let's go get... Wait a minute. Okay. Let's start... Uh, the one thing I don't like about these little umbrellas, they, they are way too short. So I can see there's an umbrella over there. I just got to get around this little river. So we're going to go ahead here and pay this guy. I've got another one over here. I see the umbrella. And we're going to pay this guy. So every time you pay them, you're paying them with two tickets. With those tickets, with those tickets you're going to get from things that you do in your house, jobs that you'll do in your house, learning to play the piano, learning to paint, things like that. Alright guys, sorry about that. Had some uh, parental duties to take care of. So we're going to go ahead and finish uh, paying these farm hands and then we'll explain how this process is going to work with the, the money making and the ribbon earning. So I got one more guy over here I got to pay. Actually, I think it's a girl. But either way, still got to pay him. All right, so they are going to farm just about this entire area. I've get to an area where we can see. Um, 
I've, I've mapped it out pretty good to where they get the majority of the apple trees. There's a couple corners and stuff like that here and there that they don't grab, but I can grab that on my own. So anyways, when you hit tab, it's going to bring up your inventory of what you currently have, what you've collected. As you can see, I've collected 3,818 out of 5,770 possible that I can hold um, out of the things that I've built that hold inventory. So with those apples right there, I mean, most of that I collected in about an hour and a half. And by I collected, I mean the farmhands collected. So what you're going to do with that is we're going to go over here. These things over here are called jam stands, I think they're called. Oh, nope, fruit press, sorry. All right, so the fruit presses. So if you look here, we're going to harvest one. I get five diamonds out of it. And 20 XP, it takes away 50 apples and gives me one jam. So now if you look, when I hit tab, I've got nine jam. Now I'm going to go collect from this. I got ten jam. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to collect all these jams. And collect here. Collect here. go ahead and speed up this process real quick. All right. That was tiring. All right. So now we've collected 51 jam. As you can see, my apples went down from about 3,000 and changed to about 1,600. And then we've turned that into jam. So now, we're going to sell the jam here, takes away a jam, and gives me 40 XP and one ribbon. This one takes away the jam, gives me 40 XP and one ribbon, same thing here, and same thing here. Now these do have a cooldown timer, I believe it's about two minutes, so I, I can go right back, but by that time, as you can see, this season's about three quarters of the way over. All these are going to fill up again. Now, from what I understand from these far hand, farm hands, we can stack the pay. So, when I paid them a little while ago, it was for one hour. So, once the season starts again, if it's within the hour, they'll start collecting. Once that hour's over, they'll go back to their umbrellas. But I can pay them two times and make sure it lasts for two hours. So that's what you're going to do to create your apple farm. Which, I mean, if you can leave the computer on, leave the game on for a little while and walk away for a couple hours and come back, you can max out your apples, go sell everything, wait two minutes, go sell everything again. Um, now you can buy more jam stands, which are these right over here. Jam stall, sorry. Um, you can buy more of these. These do cost 10 ribbons, though. So I'm going to hold off for a little bit until I'm more comfortable with my ribbon amounts. Um, since I come across things every day that I'm like, oh, I want to get that. And then find out it's, you know, 20 ribbons. I want to get another gas station that's 25 ribbons. So... Um, you know, for the money that you're going to spend on your apples at only 100 coins per tree to put all these in here. And all it's going to do, since it harvests every season, harvests, I mean, every season, a season lasts 17 minutes. So every 17 minutes, all of these are going to become available after you harvest them again. Or after they harvest them again. The farmhands. So it's a pretty good money maker. Um, you're not going to make a whole lot of money when it comes to um, harvesting the trees. I mean, that's minuscule 
to the value of one ribbon. I mean, you can go to, let's fast travel back to my, the beginning here. And I've got a, uh, a pawn shop. Go into the pawn shop, and you can see that one, uh, 10 gold equal one ribbon. So at the beginning, I was starting using, you know, I was collecting the 50 gold and getting 500,000 coins. But now that I've got 3.5 million in coins, I've been starting to use the 10 to 1 ratio for the gold nuggets, changing them into, you know, each time getting five ribbons because those ribbons are very valuable. I'm going to show you a couple things that do cost ribbons just so you know how valuable they are. So the gas station right here is 25 ribbons. Um, where are, oh, they are over here. Here they are. These, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. These sprinklers right here. I think each one is, uh, I don't want to be wrong. So, <laughs> where is, is it fencing? Yep, sure is. So it's one ribbon a piece for the sprinkler. One sprinkler will sprinkle that side and this side. Now, when it waters this side and that side, in this it really doesn't matter a whole lot in this bed because this bed is flowers. Um, when you water these, you know, you're just going to get, it makes them more valuable. So, I mean, it does have a benefit. But see, if I put sprinklers in here and was watering all these automatically, when you go up to a, a vegetable or something that you plant in the ground, I don't think I have any right now to show you. Let's see. Oh, yes, I do, actually. These strawberries. So you see how at the bottom left it's 6 hours and 59 minutes? When I go to water this, it's 3 hours and 29 minutes. So keeping things watered with the sprinklers, it's much more beneficial money-wise and everything to put the sprinklers in here rather than over there in the flower beds. I did not know that when I first started. I thought that the time went down with the, or actually when I first started, I thought that they had to be watered in order to be harvested. But they don't. Just makes them a little bit more valuable. So. Fast travel back. To, keep hitting Q. Fast travel back to the farm. And you can see the apple farm. And as you can see, all of these, because the season just changed, have become available again to harvest. There's no farmhand here because it's within the hour. So the farmhand's automatically collecting those. We're going to go back here. It's up to 1,770. Um, so we've gotten about 400 since we were last here, what, maybe six or seven minutes ago. So that's what's good about the apples is that they harvest, they're harvestable every season, which is what makes them such a good commodity when it comes to buying and selling. 100 coins ain't nothing in this game to the amount of ribbons that you're going to earn. So, anyways, so that's our uh, little tips and tricks for the apple farm. Um, I'm going to come up with another video real soon, and we'll find some more tips and tricks to help everybody out. Um, please, if you like the video, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below the video. Again, my name is Loading, and I hope everybody has a wonderful day.